Okay, so I'm not even gonna do the intro yet. This is how we're gonna start this because there has been some discrepancy amongst media and fans of how we should be pronouncing your name. Oh. So how do you want us to pronounce your name? I don't know. It's, uh, I think I say different every time too, so. Okay, well, if you were to introduce yourself to someone, how would you say it? Jonathan Berggren. Berggren. Yeah. All right, Jonathan Berggren. We're, we're rolling with it. Yeah. <laughs> hey Red Wings fans, I'm Daniela Bruce alongside Jonathan Berggren here today and now that we've covered how we pronounce your name, I'm really excited about this because fans have come up with a really cool nickname for you and they're the ones that submitted questions for this interview today. So the first one is, what do you think of the nickname Johnny Burgers? And that's from Adri underscore unsung. Tell us, what do you think? I don't know, it's, uh, <laughs> it's I think it's kind of cool, like, I don't think no one doesn't like burgers, so uh, I, they can keep keep uh, using that nickname. Okay, so you like burgers? Yeah, of course. Cheeseburgers, hamburgers? Um, I'm a cheese, cheeseburger guy and like smash burgers. Smash burgers yeah. are delicious. Have you found a good one in Detroit yet? No, I think every, every burger in the US is like uh, thick. Yep. So uh, in Sweden, we always uh, has uh, smash burgers. There's some good spots. Yeah. Yeah. There's some. We'll talk offline. Yeah, I'll get perfect. you some good smash burger <laughs> spots. Okay. And now this next one. So there's a little joke from when you were traveling to Grand Rapids for the first time. Yeah. I think you know where I'm going with this, right? You actually traveled to Grand Rapids, Ohio. Oh, oh, yes. Instead of Grand Rapids, Michigan. So before I ask the question, how the heck did that happen? Uh, I don't actually know. In like in Sweden, we don't have like three spots. The cities is the same name, so I thought it was only one Grand Rapids in the whole USA. So uh, yeah, I can promise it will not happen again. <laughs> All right. So the question is from Chuck Duck Goose: Which did you like better, Grand Rapids, Ohio, or Grand Rapids, Michigan? Uh, Grand Rapids, Michigan. Okay, good to know. That's <laughs> that's for reference for anyone looking to travel to yeah. Grand Rapids, Ohio. Okay. Now this next question: A little bit of hockey here. This is from Cam Stockett. How do you like playing for the Red Wings? And he also says, or she also says, I think all of Detroit already really likes you. Oh, thanks. Uh, it's uh, like unreal. Like, I think every every kid in Sweden, like, especially like my age, and uh, like loves Detroit. Like, that's the most famous team in uh, hockey, in, like in Sweden. So uh, it's just unreal to have like the Red years on me. From at Crane Orr, who is your favorite Red Wing, past or present? Since everybody in Sweden, obviously the Red Wings have a big Swedish history. So who is your favorite Red Wing? Oh, I think like the Swedes. Like, All the Swedes. Yeah, I like Dachuk uh, much too. Yeah. So I think the Swedes and Dachuk. Have you been able to meet like Nick Lidstrom or Henrik Zetterberg? I know they're still around quite a bit. I've uh, met uh, uh, Nick. Nick, yeah. yeah but. Um, not Cerber yet, so hopefully. What about Kroner? Kronwall's around. Yeah, Kroner I've been uh, yeah. meet with eating lunch and stuff in Sweden and here, so uh, he's a nice guy. This one is from Gendog underscore 18. What kind of music do you like and what's your go-to pregame music? Oh, I'm th listening to like my go-to before game, I have al always listened to like four or five, the same song, in, like mm -hmm. two, three years now. So, but like, when I'm not uh, like, it's not game day. I'm listening like to everything. I'm starting to like country now, so uh, trying to be a country guy. Like it's nice to listen to country when you're driving a car and stuff. So I think uh, country is uh, right now. I love that because I'm a huge country music yeah. fan. So do you have a favorite artist right now? Uh, the song 23. It's called Sam Hunt. I don't know if. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yep. All yeah, right. I, I, like I love it. <laughs> I love it. I yeah. love it. Yeah. I'm a big country fan too. Can you give us? You said there's the same like four or five songs that you listen to in your pregame. Can you give us one of them? What hypes you up for a game? Can't be touched. I think like it's a uh, Cine Crosby highlights on YouTube when I oh. watched when I was little. So. All right. I love <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah. Can't cringe, but yeah. True to your roots. You're sticking with it yeah. all the way through. I love that. Okay. Now this question is from at guy likes hockey. Now that you're in Detroit. What has been the best food that you've tried here? Or maybe we can go Michigan in general because we'll include Grand Rapids in this too. Oh, I'm, I'm a big sushi guy. Uh -huh. So it's a spot in uh, Grand Rapids that I used to go, Maru Sushi, I think it's called. Yeah. And here it, I think it's Ronin Sushi. All right. In Rolo Oak, I've been, been with my girlfriend there 
yesterday, I think it was. So it's uh, it's a nice spot. All right, we're gonna have to get you all the good sushi spots too. So anybody who has a comment about smash burgers <laughs> and sushi, yeah, those take, are the two things we need right now. Yes, right? takes me. Now this is another hockey question from at Mackletrain. What is the strongest part of your game, and then where do you think you need to improve the most? My strongest, I think it's uh, my hockey IQ. My, mm -hmm. I see the ice pretty good, I think. Yeah. So, but my weakness, ah, I don't really have a good shot, I think. So I'm trying to improve my shot a so I have can score more goals. What goes into that? What kind of work do you have to put in to improve your shot? Uh, it's just uh, try to be a little better every day. So mm -hmm. stay out on the ice and just it's it's pretty easy to get, like work hard every day. Yeah. So I'm just try, trying to do that. In your first few games, you were playing with Joe Valeno, and obviously that's some familiarity for you, right? Having yeah. known Joe in Grand Rapids, were you happy to have him when you came up? Yeah, it's nice to have someone that I uh, like know f know for a while. Yeah. So we play. Uh, in Grand Rapids and we would draft the same year so mm -hmm. we've been friends for a couple of years so it's a nice nice guy. Have you bonded with anybody else in the locker room yet? I'm trying. Yeah. It's, uh, <laughs> I'm kind of shy in the beginning so I'm trying to uh, get to know the boys a little better for every day that's come. This is from Brad Dog <laughs> one three. I think you know Dog a little bit. Yeah. He actually happens to be the equipment manager in Grand Rapids. So there might be some background that you need to fill us in on with this question. I'll because, do my best. Yeah, I actually didn't know what he was talking about at first when yeah. I saw the question and I was like, we need to ask you this. Okay, so why do you need a ballpoint pen every time you make up a stick? So every <laughs> time you tape your stick up, you need a ballpoint pen and we need to understand <laughs> why that is. Uh, I write like after I have uh, done like a new stick for game, yeah. I write write it on the, how do you say it, where I hold my hands. Like yep, up on the, the tape at the, yeah. the top? Okay. So I write some word, uh, some word uh, on it. A is it always the same word? Or yeah, okay. it's the only, <laughs> yes, the same word. Is it an inappropriate word? No, it's uh, kind of like, uh, how do you say, cringe for me to like. So it's superstitious and you don't want to, I get it, yeah. you don't have to share it with yeah. us. Okay, so, all right, yeah. so there's a certain word that you write on the top of every one of your sticks. Yeah. In Swedish or English? It's uh, in English. In English, okay, yeah. <laughs> all right. And then he did ask a follow-up to that yeah. question. Does Paul, talking about Paul Boyer, our equipment manager here in Detroit, make you as fast as Dog does in Grand Rapids? I don't think uh, no one can uh, make me so fast like Dog. All right. That. So, uh, yeah. Not yet. Okay, so Polly's gonna have to call up Dog, is what I'm hearing. He's gonna have to pick up that phone and figure out what it is. I yeah, love it. I think Dog is missing me, so he would love to like <laughs> he can stay at my hotel. That's right. He's he's very excited that he got to ask you a question because yeah. he misses you that much. Well, Jonathan, thank you so much for thank taking you the time. Thank you for having me. Yeah, it's great, and thank you for answering some of the fans' questions. They are super excited to have you here in Detroit, as are we. Yep, perfect. Thank you. And thank all of you for tuning in. We'll see you next time.